In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the surface parking lots that we have in our neighborhood and think about some design strategies for mitigating their negative effects. So once again, we're trying to prioritize, we're trying to figure out where is the problem of surface parking lots likely to be greatest and where can we justify intervention. So I'm going to open some previous layers that we have used. And one is we had something called connection priorities. That might be a good way to think about it. We don't want surface parking lots in places that should have a lot of connection. There's a lot of different ways we could do that. This, there's a lot of different variables we could bring in. Let me think also about bringing in our densest blocks. We probably, there could be ways of thinking about that. You could probably bring in civic spaces, proximity to civic spaces, but let's start with these blocks as a kind of priority layer. So if you don't have a separate layer of parking lots, and that would presumably be by parcel, it's a little tedious, but I actually think it's worth it to spend some time constructing a layer of parking. And what you might do is just zoom in section by section. Let's go ahead and bring in our parcels. And with these high priority blocks, I'm going to make those have no fill but I do want them to have an outline so I know which ones they are. And I want them to have a nice bright color. And connection priorities, we'll put those on top too. Okay, so hopefully you can see those red outlines so we know what blocks we're supposed to be working in. And then for the parcels, you want to make those hollow as well. I'm going to turn off the buildings layer too because what I'm after is I want to look at I'm trying to identify those parcels that are in these high priority blocks that have a lot of surface parking on them. So as I said it's a little bit tedious of a process but I think it would be a really important and useful layer to have. So I'm going to turn on the Bing Aerial Layer. And I'm going to have the parcels and the blocks on top of that. So actually what I want to do is bring this Aerial Layer down. You see it's not lining up that great. If that happens to you and you bring in your aerial layer and things aren't lined up right. What I've found helps correct that is to just zoom out and then zoom back in again and it just corrects. I don't know exactly why it's doing that. I've got everything set up in the, um, the same coordinate reference system. Anyway, now we're ready to identify those parcels that have surface parking. To select parcels with a lot of parking, we could just go in here and click with parcels or active layer, click on those parcels with parking. But what you're going to get is selection of the whole parcel and that's more area than you want. So what you need to do is edit those parcels. Let's just zoom in here. This is a good example. Okay, so we want to select this area right here. I'm going to, with parcels, my active layer. I'm going to select the toggling, toggle edit tool. And all those little parcel nodes are going to get a little X over them. 
So we want to separate out this area right here. What we're going to do is activate the split features tool, this little scissors. And then go in here and click on, make sure that you go past your line. And then when you're done splitting your feature, you have to be over the line because it's going to snap it back to that existing line. Just right click. So a new line has been created. So now when you go in here and select this parcel, you're just selecting that area. Once you've identified all your parking parcels, I think I would go ahead and save that as a separate vector file. Just save it as a shape file. And let's call it parking. And we want to bring that in. And then put your buildings on top of that. Showing that all this area in red is taken over by cars and it's quite a bit of area. And I'm not even showing the streets, I'm just showing the surface lots. And let's take a look at these blocks in Google Earth. And I'm going to select File, Open. And that Bridgeport layer, the parking layer I just created. You would figure out what are different categories of parking lot intervention that you want to think about. Is this a parking lot that is really high priority for doing something about, or is it lower priority? What can you do with it? And I have some ideas for that in the on the course website about how you would think about those different parking lot treatments. But I'm going to show you next an example of taking one particular lot, and let's just we're going to pick on this lot right here because it is so centrally located and it's right on a main thoroughfare surface parking lots fronting main streets in a community are particularly egregious so we're going to think about some things that we can we're going to demonstrate different parking lot treatments using this lot i want to show these possibilities in sketchup and so I want to get this one building that's located right here that's it's turning blue when you hover over it which means you can actually get it if you hover over other buildings in Google Earth that look like they're three-dimensional but they don't turn blue that means that they're not downloadable models so let's open SketchUp just a brand new SketchUp file and I'm going to then in Google Earth double click on here and download model. I'm going to go ahead and get the big one for SketchUp 8. This is called Building in Chicago. I'm going to right click on here show in finder looks like i've downloaded this building a couple of times before so now in sketchup i don't know why i have an error there back to sketchup and from my finder window i can just drag this right over I will also bring in the Google Earth image underneath here. So I can type in 31st Street in Halstead, Chicago, select region, and I don't really need that much area, but you never know. 
just grab that. Didn't position this right, so we have to move this. Been through this process before. Not exactly sure why that happens, but it certainly isn't difficult to change it. So now I'm going to bring in my SketchUp models to think about different treatments for this parking lot.